Is it really possible to create a commercial that looks as if it had a production budget of tens of thousands of dollars, but instead is made entirely with AI? That's the question we'll explore today. The last few months have completely transformed what's possible, especially when it comes to consistency and realism of generated assets. These improvements open up a space that used to belong only to big studios with expensive equipment and large teams. Now don't get me wrong, I don't believe AI is yet capable of covering every single need in 3D production or visual advertising, but as a foundation or even as a concept development tool, AI is already incredibly powerful and cost effective. What we'll do in this video is walk through a full process of preparing a high quality advertising animation using a mix of different AI tools. By the end, you'll see exactly how you could deliver a polished commercial that would hold up in front of real clients, all without the huge budget or production overhead. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. I begin by looking for a stock image of shoes, something clean and professional, in the free pick database. After browsing for a while, I find a pack shot that feels solid, so I take that as my base. First, I put it through Seadream 4 at 4K resolution. I prepare a detailed prompt, which I'll share in the video description so you can use it too, and I generate. The result is decent but not spectacular. It lacks depth, so I know I need to adjust. I stick with Seadream 4, but rewrite the prompt with more descriptive elements, adding context, more stylistic cues, and a bit of emphasis on lighting. This time, the results are significantly better, more refined, with stronger atmosphere. For comparison, I also try Google's Nano Bananas, because in the past it has given me excellent results, especially for creative tasks. It just doesn't come out right, the composition breaks down and it doesn't have the clarity I need. So I return to Seadream 4, because the improvement there is promising. And after a few adjustments, the outcome is genuinely strong. It's sharp, consistent, and visually appealing. I keep working in Seadream 4K, this time switching the background style to fiery and flame-filled. My logic here is that strong contrast between visuals will make transitions more dynamic. I run the generation, and the effect is excellent. The shoes stand out beautifully against the fiery tones. I also generate additional versions, one with a cosmic theme and one with a forest theme. These will give us variety and allow for stronger contrast later in the sequence. Now, I take the space-themed image as a reference. Using Nano Bananas, I create a human figure wearing the shoes in outer space. The effect works surprisingly well. This is where Nano Bananas has an edge. It often handles human characters better than Sea Dream, which makes it the right choice in this part of the workflow. With that in place, I move on to animation. I craft a custom prompt designed for start-to-end frame generation. For this, I use a custom GPT tuned for Kling 2.1 because in my experience it generates the best structured prompts for motion. I load the images into Video Generator and animate a transition between the water scene and the fiery one. I paste in the custom prompt, hit generate, and after a short wait, the result is stunning. It's dynamic, it's polished, and it feels like a shot straight out of a high-budget ad. I repeat the same process for the other scenes, ensuring everything has a consistent style and rhythm. Then I decide to test mid-journey for start-to-end frame transitions. This time I deliberately don't use any prompts because I've noticed mid-journey sometimes produces more interesting camera motions without them. The output is ready, and here's the problem. The motion is creative, yes, but the physics and context don't hold up. Objects move unnaturally, the realism breaks, and while parts of it look fascinating, it wouldn't pass in a professional ad. I test again, this time with prompts included, but the results are essentially the same. Prompts don't really change the underlying behavior. This is just the nature of Midjourney's video model at the moment. So ultimately I stick with the sequences generated in FreePick and Kling because those are more reliable. Now it's editing time. I layer in sound effects to give weight to each transition. I apply color grading, add subtle speed ramping to sharpen the rhythm, and fine tune the overall flow so the commercial feels cohesive. As a final step, I take everything into Topaz Labs. Here I upscale the footage, stabilize it at 30 frames per second, and polish the details. I don't use slow motion in this case. I simply want to maximize clarity and make sure the final video feels crisp and professional. If you want to go deeper into Topaz Labs, I actually made a separate video walking through all the settings and techniques. As you can see, with the right combination of AI tools, it's absolutely possible to create a commercial that looks like it had a big production budget behind it. Seadream 4 delivers strong consistency and cohesion. 
Nano Bananas gives us an edge in generating characters, Kling 2.1 makes smooth transitions possible, and Topaz Labs raises the final quality to a level that you could confidently show to a client. Will AI completely replace professional 3D production? Not yet. But it's already a tool that can help you make ads at a level that would have been unthinkable just a year ago. And that's the real strength of it. AI doesn't need to replace everything with the right tools and prompts. It can produce results that look impressive and can genuinely compete with traditional production workflows.